This is a model of the female reproductive system. Let's start where the eggs would be released from. That would be this structure right here. This is the ovary. The ovary will release eggs and those eggs will travel to this structure, the uterus, by going through this tube, which is called the fallopian tube. It's also called the uterine tube. Let's take apart this model for a second so we can get a closer look at the ovary and the uterine tube. You'll notice that at this end of the uterine tube, the part that's closest to the ovary, it gets wider, kind of like a trumpet. And that wider portion of the fallopian tube is called the infundibulum. At the end of the infundibulum, there are these finger-like structures and those finger-like structures are called fimbriae. So an egg would be released from the ovary by the process of ovulation, get captured by the fimbriae, go through the, the infundibulum, and down the uterine tube or the fallopian tube, and then it would wind up in this structure, which is the uterus. You should notice that when it goes from the front of the body, the anterior part, to the posterior part, that there is this structure, the urinary bladder, before this structure, which is the uterus. The uterus has got different parts. Um, the inner lining of the uterus is called the endometrium, and most of the wall of the uterus is made out of smooth muscle, and that has the name myometrium. The uterus is going to join to this tube called the vagina at this area, which is called the cervix. So this is the cervix. The cervix is the barrier between the sterile environment of the uterus and the non-sterile environment of the vagina, also known as the vaginal canal. As we go towards the outside, you will see that the exterior part of the female reproductive system. Here, this is termed the vulva. The vulva in humans does not only contain the opening of the uterus, it also contains the uh, urethral opening, the urethral orifice. The vulva has got a couple of different folds of skin. This inner fold of skin is called the labia minorum, and the labia minorum usually does not have pubic hair on it. This outer fold of skin is called the labia majorum, and it generally does have pubic hair on it. This little pad of fat right in front of the pubic bones of the pelvis, it also has a name, and it is called the mons, M-O-N-S, also known as the mons pubis.